Travis, you have been a very bad boy for an entire year. You've been acting so bad to the point where we have to give you Warren-style punishments and you will follow those punishments whether you like it or not. No, I don't want Warren-style punishments. They're so bad and hard to bear. Too bad, Travis. You have done lots of bad things, such as destroying Villa Rica with your rubber bandits friends, crashing the driving car into your school, stalking girls everywhere and beating up their boyfriends, using the N-word supporting animal and child abuse, assaulting lots of people, teaming up with the worst troublemaking groups ever, failing the 11th grade last year, beating up Jessica Slider all because she is afraid of the mask, bribing Jessica $2,000 to go out on a date with you, and made Jessica's younger cousin commit suicide. So this is why you are receiving Warren-style punishments. You will be receiving 38 punishments and there is no backing down from them. If you escape, we will stomp you down and hand you more punishments. Let the punishments begin. Our dad is going to start first. Your first punishment is that you'll be receiving 1,000 bell beatings at random times every day and it will be very severe and we do not care how much it hurts. Your second punishment is that all your social media and YouTube accounts will be shut down forever and you will not be able to open any new ones. Your third punishment is that you will not be allowed to hang out with your rubber bandits or any other troublemaking groups that are evil such as the LNSTMs, Reapers, Chaos Coalition, the Jiminy Pack, and the Legion of Moloch until further notice. Your fourth punishment is that all your electronics will be donated to charity and you will not get any new ones. Your fifth punishment is that every fall and winter, your heater will be set to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, while every spring and summer months, it will be set to zero degrees Fahrenheit. Your sixth punishment is that whenever it snows, you will be forced to shovel up our driveways, and you will not stop until every last bit of snow is cleared. Your seventh punishment is that as a follow-up to your sixth punishment, you will be forced to rake and bag up our leaves in the driveway, and again, you will not stop until every last bit of leaf is cleared. Your eighth punishment is that you will be forced to eat rotten foods such as raw eggs, Swiss cheese, grape nuts, prunes, baby food, expired food, and of course, lumpy potatoes, gruel, raw vegetables, and maggots for every meal including dessert. Your ninth punishment is that you will be forced to do hard workouts every day. You will be forced to do 500 jumping jacks, 500 push-ups, 500 sit-ups and 500 squats without any breaks or water breaks and if you stop in the middle for even a second or if even one is not perfect, then you will start all over again. In addition, the same bossy coach that coaches the Alanisteums will be forcing you to do them. Your tenth punishment is that you will be getting after school detentions every single day from 2.10 p.m. to 3.10 p.m. as well as Saturday schools every Saturday until you graduate from Angel City High School. And if you miss even one detention or Saturday school for any reason, you will immediately be suspended for the rest of the school year. In addition, since you are already failing your classes and have the worst school record, you will be repeating the 11th grade once again for the 2023 to 2024 school year. In addition, you will be signed up for summer school every summer until you graduate. Your 11th punishment is that you will be forced to run marathons every single day without any breaks or water breaks. If you stop even once in the middle of the marathon, then you will have to start all over again. Your 12th punishment is that you will only be allowed to watch shows that are rated TVY7, TVY, and TVG. That means you can watch shows from channels from PBS Kids, Nick Jr., Disney Jr., Disney XD, Nickelodeon, and Cartoon Network. That means you will not be allowed to watch shows that are rated TVPG, TV14, and TV Ma. Your 13th punishment is that you will only be allowed to watch movies that are rated G, which are basically all of the Disney movies and movies that are aimed for preschoolers and toddlers. You will not be watch movies that are rated PG, PG-13, R, or NC-17. Your 14th punishment is that the only non-G rated movies that you will be allowed to watch are Adam Hughes, the movie and the Super Mario Brothers movie, because as for the Adam Hughes, the movie, you and your rubber bandits friends like to team up with the Alanastiums, and as for the Super Mario Brothers movie, we know you hate that movie. Those are the non-G rated films that you can watch. Your 15th punishment is that you will be forced to watch finders that you hate such as Crimson Skull 18, Nanometer, Brainiac Adam, Novadrome Animations, Callum Rockley, Death the Hate Master, Beyond and Beyond, 
Animator Guy 986, Corey Comedian 2K2, David the Video Game and Animation Fan 17, Abin of the Vion Video Maker 2K4, Motherly Angel 218, also known as Victoria, Valeria the Ninjago and Brainiac Adam Fan, Jaden Carter the Vion Fireboy Animator 2006, Ezra Demo, Rhea the Electric Fire Plant Mentor 2K1, Jasmine Pink Princess YT, Starlight Chan Glimmer Gal, Corey the NBA Vion and Animator Fan 2K, Azure Midnight Gemstone Dude 2K3, Richard Math Physics 1991, Gracie Ellen Knoll Saint the Archangels and Reclaims Fan, Jenna the Pinkalicious Idol, Jack the Physics Geography and Oni Imagine Boy 2K5, and other vinders you hate until further notice. Your 16th punishment is that you will be forced to do chores all around the house such as cleaning the bathroom, washing the dishes, doing the laundry, fixing beds, vacuuming, mowing the lawn, and raking the leaves without any breaks or pay. Your 17th punishment is that you will be forced to dance in an nappy on a rooftop every day until further notice and we will laugh and record you dancing, so that you get humiliated. And yes, that same punishment that Alan Huntington got will be inflicted on you. Your 18th punishment is that every time you scan a QR code or click a YouTube link, you will automatically be rickrolled. Your 19th punishment is that you will be forced to fly to Pamplona, Spain and do the running of the bulls every year for the rest of your life and if you get injured or killed in any way, then we will not be responsible for it. Your 20th punishment is that you will only be allowed to play video games that are easy rated, E rated, and D10 rated. You will not be allowed to play video games that are rated any higher than that. This means you are not allowed to play any of the Grand Theft Auto games and Call of Duty games. Your 21st punishment is that you will be banned from all fast food restaurants for the rest of your life and you will get a restraining order from all of them. Your 22nd punishment is that you will be writing a 10,000 word essay on why you should not support the Alanistums, the Reapers, the Chaos Coalition, the Legion of Lek, the Hermeni Pack, the Teenagers Next Door, and the Black Hawk Militia. And yes, that essay will include on why you should not support my abusive biological parents since you support them. Your 23rd punishment is that you will be forced to watch every grounded video made by you, your rubber bandits friends, the Alanistums, the Reapers, the Chaos Coalition, the Legion of Mullock, the Gemini Pack, the Teenagers Next Door, and the Glass Bandits on loop until further notice. Your 24th punishment is that you will be forced to support the good users, the non-troublemakers, and the mild and moderate troublemakers. This includes the ones that have redeemed themselves, such as Lamar, Tristan, Chris, Nathan, and the entirety of Anthony's gang. You will not be allowed to support the worst troublemaking gangs or any criminal users. Your 25th punishment is that the only music you will listen to are boring music genres such as classical music, medieval music, renaissance music, baroque music, romantic music, and other music that was released in the 19th and 20th century. Your 26th consequence is that we will be placing insects that hurt inside your room and if you even get stung or hurt then we will not be responsible for it. Your 27th consequence is that every morning at a random time, you will be woken up a loud air horn at 800% volume, which is the maximum volume Vian City legalizes. Your 28th punishment is that since you destroyed Villarica with your rubber bandits, you will be forced to work at a job to pay for the damages you caused which totals up to $2 million. You will not be allowed to spend the money or give it to anyone else. If you do, you immediately will be sent to jail. Your 29th punishment is that since you destroyed Villa Rica with your rubber bandits friends, you will be forced to rebuild the entire city of Villa Rica and you will not stop until it is completely rebuilt and perfectly done. Your 30th punishment is that you will be beaten up by a club and we will record it and upload it on YouTube so that you get humiliated to see how you like it. This is what you get for doing the same thing to Molly Slider, who is Jessica Slider's younger cousin. Your 31st punishment is that you will be assigned 500 pages of homework every day and they will be due 24 hours from the time you get the homework. You will be forced to get every question correct. If you get even a question wrong, you will be forced to start all over again. Your 32nd punishment is that every day at school, you will be taking extremely hard tests and you will be forced to get 100% on all of them. You will have a time limit of 15 minutes to complete the test. If you miss or get even a single question wrong or it takes you longer to complete the test, 
then you will automatically fail it and redo the test. And yes, that will require lots of studying. Your 33rd punishment is that you will be receiving a permanent restraining order from Jessica Slider and her entire family, including her extended ones. If you step 100 feet from her and family members, the police will immediately be notified and you will be arrested. Your 34th punishment is as a follow-up to your 33rd punishment that you will be receiving a permanent restraining order from all the other girls you've stalked including the ones that are mild and moderate troublemakers. And like Valeria said, if you violate your restraining order by stepping 100 feet from any of them, then again, the police will immediately be notified and you will be arrested. Your 35th punishment is that you will not be getting a driver's license regardless of how old you are, so you'll have to go by foot to places. Your 36th punishment is that you will be forced to write an apology letter to Jessica Slider for what you did to her and her family and it must be completely sincere. If even one small part of the apology letter is not sincere, then you will be forced to redo the entire letter. Your 37th punishment is that you will be forced to write a 10,000 word essay reflecting on all your bad actions and you will be forced to write why doing illegal stuff is not acceptable and you will be forced to write it by hand instead of typing it. You will not plagiarize from any sources and it must be completely original. If even the smallest part of the essay is plagiarized anyway, then you will be forced to redo the entire essay. You will work on it until it is completely done. Your 38th and final punishment is that a tracking device will be placed on your leg and it will track where you are. If you are found in a place where you're not supposed to be or if you take it off, then the alarm on the tracking device will immediately go off and you will be arrested. So those are all the punishments you will be getting until further notice. I hope they all help you reflect on all the atrocious actions you have done in the past. If you fail to abide by any of the punishments, we'll hand you 38 more. Do you have anything to say to all of us? I'm really sorry for all the things I did and Jessica, I'm really sorry for beating you up all because you were afraid of the mask bribing you $2,000 to go on a date with me, and causing your younger cousin's suicide. Your apology is permanently denied, Travis. You have done so many felonies that you cannot be forgiven. I agree with Jessica. Your apology is denied forever. You have traumatized her with your shit. We're never forgiving you. So that does it. Those punishments will be in place starting tomorrow until you learn how to behave. And instead of going to your room, we have a bonus punishment for you. Beyond logic activate. What? You turned me into a motor car. That's right. Since you always cry like a motor car every time you were sent to your room, I have decided to turn you into one and see how it feels to be one. It's time to give you away as a prize on the eliminator. Oh, I will get you back someday and you will regret it. Mark my words. <laughs> <laughs> It serves Travis right for all the atrocious things they did. Maybe next time, he will learn not to behave abysmally ever again. Agreed. It serves him right. Also, Jessica, once again, I'm really sorry for the loss of your younger cousin and what Travis did to you. I know you have autism and you're very sensitive. What he did was unforgivable. Thanks, Valeria. It makes me feel better and it's not your fault. But anyways, do you want to come to my house and throw a party to celebrate what we have done? Oh, sure thing, Jessica. Let's go to your house and celebrate our success. We can walk there because it's a nice day to walk.